I received a creepy email from an unrecognizable address the other day, which was very, very unusual. Inside the email was a file and a message instructing me to open the file in seven days. Obviously, I didn't listen because nobody tells me what to do. Ain't nobody the boss of me. So I opened the file and it told me to come back in seven days. After a series of unexplained events, in absolute darkness, a sound of a siren is heard. What is up guys, it's your boy Ming. Hope you guys are having the most fantastic day today. Before we begin, I have a quick question. So I have 14 other story time videos and I'm curious which ones you guys enjoyed the most. So comment below which one was your favorite to let me know. Also, we are about to hit 300,000 followers on TikTok, which is just so crazy to me. Yes. So I just want to celebrate this small win together with you guys because like I always say, without you guys, none of this would be possible. So thank you guys all so, so much. Oh, hello. Hello, it's me from the future. So I stayed up all night working on this video, so I thought it was important to address this. So I've been getting a little sick lately from the lack of sleep because I've been staying up every single night working on content. The thing is during times like these, it's so important to cherish your own health. But don't worry guys, I don't have corona time. I've noticed I feel so much better after a good night's sleep, full eight hours. Like I always say, I do believe that if you work hard for your dreams, nothing is impossible. But at the same time, don't grind every single day to the point where you're sacrificing your health. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Health is wealth and without your health, you can't do anything. For example, if an athlete trained non-stop every single day without resting, they would probably get an injury and be out for the season. I remember last year I was grinding for an entire month, had so many sleepless nights and I got the worst cough. It was so bad. So remember, in the long term, sacrificing sleep just isn't sustainable. While yes, it is important to work hard, I think it's even more important to work smart. So hope everyone out there staying healthy get your rest oh one more thing wash those hands now back to the video if you guys haven't seen my last video go check it out you're missing now yes. also so I mentioned in my last video that I just made it onto famous birthdays ranked around 140,000 but since the release of that video I've made it up to now ranked 35,000 which is kind of bonkers so thank you guys so much for whoever boosted me you guys are amazing yes. That being said, in order to truly understand the terrifying nature of this story, let's first begin with some backstory. So you're probably thinking, how scary could an email be? Boo hoo a big baby! Okay, let's put it this way. A regular person's email, I would say, has a bunch of random spam emails every single day from a bunch of different websites they sign up for. And it all adds up, so there's probably thousands and thousands of junk mail. And the same goes for me. I have like four emails, and three of them have a bunch of junk mail every single day. So since our YouTube family is growing, I decided to make myself a business email. So you know me, I needed a big boy email so that brands, if they wanted to work with me, they could contact me. So this email was freshly made and I didn't sign up for anything. So the inbox was crystal clear. Zero emails. No one knew about this email. It was fresh out of the oven. Still hot. Yeah. But one day, I woke up and I opened my emails to check for some brand deals. But there were none. Instead, I saw an email from a random stranger. Unrecognizable. I had no idea who it was. But the scary thing is, how did they send me an email if I didn't tell anybody what it was? So I'm a curious boy, so I decided to open the email and see what's good. Maybe it was a potential brand deal, but of course, I was being optimistic. Because inside that email read a message that said, open the file in seven days. As I scrolled down, there was a strange file attached at the bottom. Of course, any normal person would have thought it was some spam mail. But like I said before, I'm a curious boy, and ain't nobody tell me what to do nobody the boss of me yeah. so with caution I decided to click the file at the bottom and here is the story of what happened I received a creepy email from a stranger the other day. Attached was the file along with an ambiguous message telling me to open the file in 7 days. I couldn't help myself as curiosity consumed me, so I clicked it. It said to come back in 7 days. So I'm not someone who believes in this hocus pocus stuff, so the very next day I decided to open the file again and it said to come back in 6 days. How is this possible? I immediately deleted the email. I woke up the very next day to check my emails, but on top of my inbox was another email from the same stranger. As scared as I was, I decided to open it. It said, do not delete again. 
In the meantime, let's play a game. Check your closet. I make haste towards my small closet, and underneath my only black shirt was a riddle that said, What disappears as soon as you say its name? I sat there in a dust of confusion. What does this even mean? So my comment section told me the answer was silence. I opened up the email and typed in the answer. As soon as I clicked send, the laptop turned frozen and the lights flickered. In the midst of silence, a siren is heard. I immediately shat myself. I make haste and changed into my brown pants. And when I woke up on the seventh day, I came back to open the file. I woke up to the sound of the faint voice of my grandmother. I was still half asleep so I could not distinguish what was going on. I must have been dreaming because my grandmother had passed away for quite some time now. I go back to sleep. On the seventh day, I woke up and came back to open the file. A vicious virus takes over my laptop, freezing it for hours and I was no longer in control. I cannot believe this. I waited seven days for this. I had to find out where this was coming from. I immediately contacted my friend Jackson, a lead phony from Silicon Valley. In mere minutes, he was able to override my computer with his infinite mastery. He gave me a call moments after. I have traced the location of the source. It's coming from right outside your house. Oh, <laughs> 
So this story was cool and all, but the other day... I've always noticed this light was flickering like a horror movie, so I decided to order new light bulbs. I looked at my wallet and realized YouTube doesn't pay me enough for Amazon Prime. So I chose standard shipping, but it took 6 years to deliver because of Corona time. The package arrived and I went fast guy. I opened the box and inside was a blank piece of paper with a little gold key. Maybe they delivered to the wrong person. Or maybe this was the start of new terrors to come. Boohoo, I'm a big baby.